Hey everybody, it is Wednesdays with Chasey Poo. I was in therapy um, yesterday and I was talking to my therapist about how I'm like very consistent with things and how like things disrupt my schedule and I freak out and stuff like that um, because my brain has a specific way of working and it kind of just needs to stay in order. And then I realized, like I know that I say this all, a lot, you know, because I'm like, oh, this week like 432, but like, it's, it's hard for me to really sit down and realize that I've been making a video on this channel every single day for over eight years, you know? And I want to keep doing it, at least for ten years. But anyways, the, the topic of this video is not this. Um, I'm just, I was just having a moment in therapy. Um, I'm so glad to be back in individual therapy as well as group therapy. It just feels like I'm actually getting help. So that's good. Uh, but today we're talking about people who don't medically transition. And there are so many different reasons why somebody wouldn't medically transition. So the first... Uh, one and to me the obvious one is that you are not able to because of your age and because your parents and or because your parents don't accept you because you could definitely be like in your 20s and your parents don't accept you so you don't medically transition right so I think this is not like people who don't want to medically transition this is just people who don't medically transition so that's why I'm telling you that there are definitely different reasons so if your parents aren't accepting of you and you're not able to actually come out or, or you have come out and they're not accepting then Sometimes medically transitioning isn't an option, um, so people just stick to social transition. Sometimes they can't even do that, but usually, they'll, you know, they'll change their name and they'll tell people to like um, use different pronouns and stuff like that, which is very brave. Um, but then there are other reasons why somebody wouldn't medically transition. So there's the health aspect. So some people have literally health problems that. Um, prevent them from medically transitioning. And by medical transition here, I'm talking about like going on testosterone and having, uh, and or having any type of surgery, um, like top surgery, bottom surgery, hysterectomy, um, masculinizing body surgery and stuff like that. Um, so for me, understanding that um, was a little bit hard when I was younger because I thought that it would be okay and anybody could go on T, but when I found out that, oh, if you have a medical condition, um, specific to whatever, you wouldn't be able to go on T. And I was really scared um, that I wouldn't be able to ever transition, but I didn't know why. I'm like, I don't really have any medical conditions. I don't know. Look, I was really scared of everything. Um, so yeah, so that's a thing. Uh, medical conditions um, definitely can prevent some people. Some people have issues with like their skin and um, they, uh, like for example, I know somebody who has a lot of acne and um, was not able to have top surgery because the acne on the chest was so intense that um, it could cause an infection if there was a surgery that happened. So I believe they had to like go on Accutane, but then you have to like wait six months to go on surgery after that. It was, look, it's a long road. They were able to get surgery in the end, bless, and they're fine. Um, but it's just something to keep in mind and not like to freak you out or anything like that, but it's just to, to keep in mind that it can happen and that not everyone can medically transition even if they want to, you know? And then there are some people who don't want to medically transition. And that's okay also because some people don't need to medically transition, right? Some people feel 100% um, comfortable where they are at in their body. Some people already pass and for them a medical transition isn't needed, like they don't need hormones or surgery. Um, some people just feel comfortable in their own like body that they have and they feel like um, medical transition is just a step for them that they either aren't ready to take or they just don't feel like they need to take. Because I, I think that a lot of people kind of misinterpret dysphoria. I, I, it, come on, of course, dysphoria, like it's a thing, okay? But um, I think that social dysphoria is also a very big thing. And I think that once that is kind of dealt with, for some people, it kind of solves a lot of their problems. So I don't think that medical transition is for everyone. Anyway, so that's my little tidbit. I feel like this week is going to cause some drama, but let's hope it doesn't. All right, I'll see you later. Have a great day. Bye.